Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video and finally back with Murder Drones, the penultimate episode of the first season of Murder Drones titled Mass Destruction. I mean, we left off on like a lot, right? Because Tessa's here now, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of piecing together the whole sin thing, you know, Uzi's potentially going to get taken over the more she uses her old solver shit. I'm not going to lie, especially for a web series, um, there is so much to sift through in this show. Like, it's crazy. Like, obviously, I'm caught up, right? And, like, the last time we were here, um, I was watching the show. Like, I was catching up to the show. So I, I watched, like I said, I, I want to say I watched first episode, then I watched two and three, then I watched four to six. I, I believe that's what I did with this show. Um, so, like, you know, I was kind of getting everything together. This is the first time I'm actually watching an episode. I believe that it came out either yesterday or today. I'm not sure. I'm recording this. Well, it's about to be uh, Sunday morning, but technically it's still Saturday night, 11.52 p.m. my time. Um, I just finished recording the Gintama video. That'll go up Sunday. This will probably go up on Monday. It'll either be this or the next Invincible episode, uh, which I'm going to record right after this. So there you go. It's kind of... It's probably going to go up in the order it's recorded, actually. But um, I'm, I'm curious what's going to happen, right? Because the finale is going to be nuts. It's also interesting just on the sense that we're watching the glitch thing. Um, I know that, like, Glitch released a really, like, short, like, some sort of, like, teaser thing for, uh, Amazing Digital Circus. Uh, I didn't decide to watch it. If you guys feel like I really should, um, then, you know, if I watch it, it would be, like, probably at the beginning of my reaction to episode two of Digital Circus. Um, but I figure this is as good of a place as any to mention that. I am aware of that video, but, like, again, I usually don't like to make videos on, like, really short, like, reactions, because I typically like to post, only, only post one video a day, and I like it to be at least a little meaty, like, at least this, this is a fat little 25-minute episode of Murder Drone, so this is, you know, decent bit. Even if I'm doing a single episode reaction, I like it to do something. That's why normally, if I'm not cut up to a series... Normally, I do multiple episode reactions because I want to give you guys a decent bit of content. Even, you know, sometimes the videos trend shorter. The, they vary. Sometimes they're one hour. Sometimes they're two. Or sometimes they're three. Go all over the place. But I like to give you, you know, some meat on the bone when I post a video. Um, which is why I don't like to react to, like, little things like that um, on their own most of the time. I do make exceptions from time to time, but generally not. I'm excited for this. I uh, When I caught up to the show, I kind of considered not reacting to this until the season finale and doing 7 and 8 as a dual situation. But this episode took fucking forever to come out. Uh, and hopefully episode 8 comes out relatively soon. I would like episode 8 to come out rather soon because I'm kind of hoping the Murder Drone season 1 finale drops before we get the next episode of Digital Circus. I don't... I kind of want them to, like, be done with the first season of Murder Drones before we, like, really dive into Digital Circus. Uh, I think that would be cool. I don't know if that's going to be the case, but there's only one episode of Murder Drones season one left anyways. So if, if you know, if episode two of Digital Circus comes before episode eight of Murder Drones, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for this. And uh, like I said, I was kind of... Uh, you know, this is the first time I'm coming into this show kind of with a bit more of a perspective, right? Of like, I caught up to the show, I was able to kind of look at it again. Now, admittedly, this isn't like one of my favorite series. I'm not like crazy locked into it. I'm not like obsessed with it, you know? Um, so it's not like I'm like super in on it. Um, but I do like the show and I do think it's interesting. Um... But I do have a little more perspective than what last time. But at the same time, I'm also not like... This isn't one of my... Like I said, I like the show, but it isn't one of my favorite shows. So I'm not like totally obsessed with it. So I'm not like, you know. 
With some shows, I do, like, fucking fall in love with them, and then I really kind of, you know, dive deeper, um, you know. But uh, with this one, it's kind of a little a little less so. But anyways, let's uh, let's jump in. Mass Destruction, this is going to be crazy. Let's check out Episode 7 of Murder Drones in 3, 2, 1, and play. Yep. I was wondering if uh, Digital Circus would show up in the intro at all, but no, it's all Murder Drone stuff there. wonder if Digital Circus will have its own version. Or what that'll necessarily look like. Jesus Christ, that's crazy. Nori, yep. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Dr. Chambers! What? Oh, no. <laughs> you idiot. Is this guy important? Oh, this guy's important. Oh, Jesus Christ. I love the, like, the combination of, like, the demonic, like, almost satanic imagery mixed with, like, technology. It's really interesting. Yep, yeah, you literally got a fucking pentagram there and everything. But, Jesus Christ, but it's, like, real, it's a really unique combination. Yeah, it, like, we're going deep into the combination of, like, magic, religion. Like I said, like, demonic and satanic shit, and then also, like, technology. It's interesting to see the way that they've, they're, like, married at the moment. Interesting. Oh. They're about to attack you? No. Chambers! Get over here! Yep. Um, so I... Yep. Uh, Protected her. Yeah, right. It almost it almost feels like there's some weird like future past linking here. I know that sounds really strange, but that's the second time that's happened. What the fuck? Like the What the hell? Oh my god. Yeah, core collapse all right. That might have been... That was wild. The devil! For the sign, I suppose. Thanks for the new host, intern. <laughs> McGuffin. McGuffin indeed. Jesus Christ. That's insane. I love how it's all so edgy, too. God, that's so cool. 
I will say, the animation in the series, like I said, I've never, I don't really, I've never been a big fan of the way, like, the series is directed and, like, like the cinematography elements of it, but, um, the animation has got, I mean, it's always been really good, but I feel like it's only gotten better. Alright, back to our neck of the woods, I guess you could say. I don't even know if that's the right way to frame it, but... Back to our boy, our girl. Should she? I don't think they should. Yeah. I'm sorry, Ed. Oh, no, no. It's okay, Uzi. I, I am so sorry. Enough, N. We'll save V after we finish here. Mm. Uzi, let's have you sit this one out, eh? Box over there. It looks like foxes, right? What? No, I... Then... Ooh. Uzi. You have uh, a lot of... You have a decision to make. I'm here that you don't want to see. Yeah. Oh, what the hell is going on? Nothing. A lot. We don't know everything yet, but... We're not gonna hurt you. Okay. Hurt me? Well, that didn't help the situation. <laughs> no, huh? Jesus Christ. And are they about to be separated? Oh, and she's, yeah, backing away. And they've been separated. Jesus Christ. All right, so now we got Anne and Tessa, and then we got... And you won't tell me why we're wandering around, cause... I'm a good friend, and secrets are blackmail. Not important. And it's not about football. Okay. Does your secret <laughs> Fucking hell. Know about football, or... Dude, just, just chill with the football. That was Gravity Falls for about three seconds. Kelbunga, dude. God, this show is so weird. So is that related to the thing you're looking no. for? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no it is. Wow. <laughs> Knock the fuck out. Nice. Oh, you're separated too. From Tessa, it looks like. So all three of you are separated. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, he's just gonna cut it off. Oh God. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh, what the fuck? The flashes of the light. What the fuck? OT is optional, huh? Ridley. That's an interesting name for the team. Phil. Be the cathedral. Yeah. Some wild stuff went down once upon a time. Holy Jesus. Yeah, that's the appropriate reaction for sure. <laughs> I missed you, Em. Thank you, my chef. Trauma goes and here you find them there. Yeah. You know, you're one of the main reasons I wanted your team to retain your personal friends. You always surprised me. Oh, well, there goes the arm anyways. Anything. Um... Yo, what the fuck was that transition? Okay, that was actually fucking awesome. Jesus Christ. Fucking hell! Talk about the end times. Thanks for clearing the way on this planet, too. Let's eat. Holy shit.
damn cathedral. All right. Let's see what you find, Doozy. Jesus Christ. Last thing we need, yeah. Oh my god, there's that fucking demon hole. I mean, that's your type of music, but... <laughs> Nightcore mix, 1,315, love it. Oh no, you're gonna watch this. Alright, so now she's seeing what we started the episode with. What the actual fuck? This show had such a weird take on horror, but I'm here for it. I think just the way the show looks makes it actually like less Why horrific. Her own murder pet? You stupid or something? Oh yeah. Well, by me then. Try. <laughs> All right. Hey, you look familiar. Watch the road. You got wings. Oh, I get it. Oh, left. Think you could get this cross to the surface? I'm looking for a hunk named Kong. Who's his dad? What? Interesting. How do you know my daughter? So, how Hunch. do we? Well, that explains a lot. Kick also. Oh, that's insane. Yeah. Oh my god, Uzi's actually gonna... Uzi's actually about to cook. She's about to get, like, potentially learn things about one of the things she gives a fuck about. Jesus Christ. Nice. Part right, two-way. Check the perimeter. Mr. Dorman, sir? Bad crowd, those murder drones. Destroying ways off the planet. My wife. My daughter having interest beyond cannibalism and Nightcore? Yes. Yeah, there's it's another the one of those Gravity time. Falls moment. <laughs> if my wife's closet is right, the planet's gonna try to eat us soon. And that would kind of explain what we've been seeing with those uh, demon holes. The finger! You're right. Nori and Yeva, yep. I just blew that shit to Kingdom Come. Holy shit. Not sure what you mean. So that's what they were doing down here, huh? Crucifix looking thing. Dr. Nizna. Had my suspicions, but they kept cutting my feet. Damn. Patch to save yourself, huh? Я не позволю вычислить или использовать меня и погладить планету. Not sure it needs you, buddy. Damn. Damn. Dude, dude, Tessa's a fucking badass. What the hell? Oh, Jesus, this is about to be fucking horrific. In fact, it might be murder time. It's murder time. Jesus fucking Christ. Yep, yep, yep. Make 
Ah. Ow. What? In this silence. Jesus Christ. Yep. 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 Holy fuck. You did good. Holy shit! The planet kind of half imploded anyway. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Up that is what surface, happened. Rain scrambled enough to have a kid, and the rest is dumb, stupid history. Hmm. Stop that. Now the Solvers found its way back to finish the job. Who's yep. its host? Um, like, who's he? And a red eye. Yeah, this kid, I know, dummy. Which one mm -hmm. was just trying to eat us? Yep. <laughs> now she saw some wild shit, and now. She's going through uh, some wild shit on multiple levels, yep. Hey, Tessa. So been busy. Just hurry, stupid. Th of course! Lucy's gonna freak out when I tell her! Tell her I'm alive? You die. Sorry, ma'am. I won't keep secrets from Uzi anymore. Even if you say it might hurt her. Damn. <gasps> I can respect that. To alert, ma'am. I caused every horror in her life. Destroyed the planet, got you things sick to your- Gave her ungodly Aldrich genetics! <laughs> Ungodly <laughs> Aldridge genetics. I promise. To wait until you're ready to tell her yourself? Ugh, bite me. Damn, hit her with a bite me. I, I didn't. She just didn't. Wait. Something else did this to Dolly. You, you have to believe. No worries. Makes my job easier. <laughs> Thought there'd be more of you silver freaks anyway. Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. Dude, why is Tessa so good? You know about the patch, yes or no? One chance. Cured. You know why I keep you around here. Holy shit! One chance. He said one chance. Yo, she was such a badass, but still human. Holy shit. Hey, buddy. Yeah, that should help. All I know is I need you to figure things out. Together? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, they're not showing her face. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really sweet, big brother. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Too bad you've served your purpose. Don't worry, your backups will forgive me. Your backups will forgive me. Oh, but this isn't over yet. Yo. Yuri, you're dead. No. You're freaking grounded. <laughs> you're dead, you're freaking grounded. Damn, we're actually getting a sick fight scene now? I guess this episode's had everything else. God, this show's such a trip. Like, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. 
Like, I barely keep up with what's going on. I do, but barely. Dude, that's so metal. Dude, that's so metal. Wow! Wow! That's one way to treat your daughter. Oh, there's the fucking null beam. Jesus Christ, that's insane. It's like portals, but instead of portals, it's deletion. It's null, yeah. Ayo, yo, they're doing a fucking, like, MCU shot for a second there with the, the way the camera was rotating. In a weird way, bro kind of almost, like, killed himself. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that's not good. Lori! I should mention Uzi and I! Hang out? We just kind of hang out? What the fuck? What? Dormant. Those things killed your frickin' mother! Yep. Oh, I'm not. Hey, lady, you don't frickin' own me! There she is! <laughs> what? We did not discuss the frozen. <laughs> that was your mom! What? Wait, no! <laughs> <laughs> They're both freaking the fuck out! And a hug. Yeah, there's a lot to digest here. Fucking Tessa. What, what? Oh no. What the fuck? It was just the helmet, it didn't take up. What the fuck? Um. It's like a modified, like, drone-human hybrid. Sorry, hybrid. I don't know why I said hybrid. Randomly Ben 10 over here. What the actual fuck? We're gonna get to see her. Oh my god. What the hell? Uh, oh yes. Get snuck upon. Neck bite. It's been fun, and also that's sarcasm. Wow. Honestly, I'm starving. Jesus Christ! I can tell you're starving. Time to destroy another world. to go boss just say <laughs> what the fuck there goes the keys who are you idiots Yeah, he's in trouble, and so are you, girl. Now that the pit, we got another pit. Oh, he woke up. Thanks for like everything. The fucking keys. Everything. Lucy, don't you dare! Oh my god. <laughs> Die, man. Uh, 
um Damn had to be cool till the very end. They're gonna end the episode there. Or not? Space? Space. Oh my god. Oh, what? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, the planet got devoured, but, or at least a good portion... Okay. This show is fucking insane, and in, like, a weird way. Like, I don't even know how to, like... Okay. Let's talk about this. Let, let's talk about this. So, Tessa was actually just fucking... Sign, like... Like... I guess, wearing Tessa? Because... We saw the finger for the verification. What the fuck? Okay, that's, that's actually some horror shit. What the hell? Um, like, the Nori Uzi end stuff was hilarious. Like, all of that was absolutely great. But, like, the fucking hole, the hole of doom that, you know, go, goes, like, through the planet or whatever. But then when Uzi woke up, she was just in fucking space and, like, could see the core of the planet. So, like, what, is it just G-fucking-G? Like, is that just G- Like, what does that- I thought the last episode was bad as far as, like, where do the fuck do they go from here? This was 20 million times worse. I feel like this last episode is gonna be very, like, this last episode's gonna be so weird. That was insane. Oh my god. This show's so strange. Because like I said. I do. Like it's. I can. And, and and I like to think I'm good. At like following this stuff. But I feel like I can barely follow it. Like I feel like this is the type of show. That you almost. Need to watch multiple times. To really grasp. What the fuck it's even doing. Um, just the way it moves, especially now that we've really kind of like geared up, right? And this was just unreal. This episode was so fucking crazy. That was absolutely psychotic. Um, but it does really feel like we've really like gotten to the point where like the plot's playing. Like I feel like, and, and don't get me wrong, this show could totally be really fucking long. To me, Murder Drones feels like a two season show like i feel like next season will like finish the show um <laughs> i guess there's actually a world where it and it actually ends in the next episode but i don't think that's gonna happen um but it doesn't feel like we're in the beginning of the story right like it feels like we've actually progressed a lot more uh than maybe we even actually have in the overall narrative that the show is trying to tell and it, it, it's really interesting. Like, I don't know. That, I feel like I feel this way after a lot of Murder Drones episodes. But, like, the actual just nonsense that happened in this episode was probably the craziest of any episode up to this point. So it's, like, magnified by the fact that the events were even crazier. But it's just, like, what the fuck did I watch? And, like, like I said, I feel like that's a common feeling when I watch this show. Like, I get that feeling of, like, what the fuck was that? And that recurring theme of feeling like, what the fuck did I watch, is kind of a staple for me 
and my experience with murder drones, which is why, like I said, I feel like this is a series that I have to kind of review, watch again to like fully grasp, which is why, like I said, I don't like, I feel like I've actually struggled with the reactions a little bit um, for this show because it's just such a like, it's something about the way the show is presented that I think it just makes it, I struggle to process it. And I, I like I said, I, t I like to think that I'm usually pretty good at that. Um, but this is a show that I've always kind of had that issue with, but, um, it's wild, man. Like fucking Uzi, man. She, I mean, that was a great moment. There were a lot of great and an Uzi moments in this episode, including a pretty meme one of literally, N and Uzi, but um, that was fucking, that was so cool. And like I said, the, the way that like, we've kind of married technology and like religious horror is like so unique and so fucking cool. And one of the really like interesting uh, blends that this show has accomplished, especially in the recent episodes. And um yeah, it's all, like, just a fucking wild time. This was such a cool episode. Um, like, I feel like I need to watch it again. Like, my initial reaction, um, like, I feel like that might have been the best episode of Murder Drones, but I, at, like, like with any episode of this fucking show, I definitely feel like I need to see it again to really kind of absorb it and see, have a bigger feel for it. It was definitely the craziest episode, I'd say. Um, because this was like, yeah, there were revelations, but this was more just like bombs dropping. Like the bombs were just dropping all over the place in this episode. Um, so as opposed to like, oh, that's really interesting. Oh shit. It was just boom, 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 boom. And just things kept happening. And it was a really long episode too. I want to actually look back at previous episodes. I feel like that might've been the longest episode of the series, um, Dead End was about 21 minutes. Um, Home was just under 20. Uh, Cabin Fever was 21 minutes. The Promening was about 19. Heartbeat was about 17 and a half. And The Pilot... Okay, this was slightly shorter than the pilot. The pilot clocked in at just under 27, whereas this was a little under 26. So this was the longest episode of Murder Drones since the pilot. Um, but uh, yeah, it was still a little shorter than... Um, it was still a little shorter than the pilot. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a long episode and not in any way because anything was dragging. It was, it was actually quite the opposite. It was boom, 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 boom. Just one thing after another, after another, it was, you know, it, it almost felt the opposite. Like so much content was condensed into these 25 minutes and it was, um, and that was really cool. And like that experience, there was some really great action, some really good animation all around in this episode, which is par for the course for Murder Drones, to be honest. Um, but like, yeah, this was probably the best looking episode as well. And, you know, it, it fits into like the unique style. Like it's very dark, very dreary. It's really cool now with Digital Circus because Murder Drones and Digital Circus have such like opposite palettes. And, like, a lot of the things about the aesthetic are very opposite, too. Like, I think that's actually really cool um, that the shows look as different as they do. That, that's that's really sick. But, um, yeah, that was a crazy episode of Murder Drones. Definitely one of the best episodes. I feel like it was probably the best episode, but I don't necessarily want to say that yet. I feel like that's something that, you know can be left to you guys, I guess. Um, but yeah, that was crazy. I, I kind of, yeah, that was a lot to take in. I feel like, I feel like I have a lot to say, but I don't even really, I feel like my thoughts haven't fully formed yet. <laughs> um, that finale is going to be nuts. I don't even know what you do with that finale. I mean, obviously there was like a lot of flashback content in, that, in this episode, which makes sense because we're piecing together what happened before along with what happened, what's happening now because they are two parts to the story is learning the backstory while also um, 
the current events, right? And how, in a way, history is repeating itself. Um, but, like, I feel like we kind of covered everything. Like, I, I'm not saying there can't be a little more backstory in Episode Eight, but I feel like Episode Eight's going to be more focused on the present. But I don't even know what the fuck that even looks like. I mean, Uzi's perspective of the present is completely fucked. So, God only knows. God only knows. I have no idea what the the finale looks like. I, I'm fucking interested, though. Holy shit. Am I curious? That was nuts. Um... I think I will leave it off there. If for whatever reason you haven't checked it out, the, the video is down below in the description. YouTube channel glitch. Go check it out. The whole series, actually. I probably will just put the playlist to all the episodes of Murder Drones um, um, in the description. So you can go and watch all of them if for some reason you haven't seen this series or whatever. Probably found that. Probably look in the description like, oh, what's this? Oh, okay, cool. But uh, whatever the case may be, that was nuts. I don't even know what to say. But, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, links down below in the description to the playlist for Murder Drones. Well, actually, technically, my playlist and the actual episodes themselves or whatever, uh, as well as my Discord, my Patreon, all that fun stuff as well. Anywho, without any further ado, it's time for me to bid you adieu. The Flaming Shark signing out. Hope you all have a wonderful, fantastical day. And I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.